Hi guys, Adam here. Uh, I am the director of the Lehigh Valley Winter Classic. And on behalf of myself and our Winter Classic committee, we just wanted to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. The reason we're posting this today is to just provide everybody with an update on where we are with the Winter Classic, some changes to the event uh, because of the whole COVID situation and uh, what you guys can do to get involved and, and how you can help out. So we'll take it right from the top. Uh, first of all, we're through the roof that we're still able to even have the event this year. It was a little touch and go there for a while, but as many of you know, on January 4th, uh, there were a couple restrictions and limitations that expired in the state of PA that now allow us to have the event. And it changes kind of how we normally operate. We'll get into that in a little bit, but <clears throat> I want to talk about the importance of, of, of being able to have the event. You know, uh, we are solely in existence to generate funding for special hockey at Lehigh Valley. And, uh, you know, by having this tournament, we're able to, to make a really big difference in the lives of some of these players and, and their families by fundraising their season. And as they return to play here, having that funding for them to, to kind of get ready to go is gonna be really important. So again, we're just really excited that we're still able to host the event this year and uh, make a difference uh, for, for the team. Now, so it's gonna look a little different. Uh, one of the things, uh, maybe the major thing that's gonna be different is we're not allowed spectators this year. So, in order to kind of still bring the day of the event and some of that excitement to all of our sponsors and all of our supporters, we're broadcasting the entire event online this year. We're boosting our digital presence in a couple of different areas, but uh, you know, being able to broadcast the event is, is super cool and we're really excited about it. Uh, we'll post up the schedule so everybody can see what time the games are, are going to be broadcast live. We're going to have multiple cameras. Uh, we're going to be able to stream it on YouTube, which means you can Chromecast it to your TV, screen mirror it from your phone, watch it on your tablet, watch it on your computer, share it, like it. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's all kind of uh, on the table this year. And again, we're just really excited to be able to bring it to you in a digital platform. And probably we, this is something we should have been doing anyway. But uh, this year kind of forces us to do that and we're excited and I think we're gonna see this in future years as well. Uh, we are, you know, we have a couple COVID protocols and procedures in place for players as they arrive. You know, we're taking temperatures, we're requiring masks, we're requiring check-ins and uh, you know, the safety of the players and uh, the, the support staff that's there for the day to get it to, to get the event to happen is our utmost priority. And uh, we're taking all precautions and, and measures that we need to from you know, the mask wearing to sanitizing the, the ice surface uh, areas that players come into contact with. And uh, we're taking it very, very seriously. So what can you do to help out? Well, this year there's tons of ways that we're, we're fundraising and tons of ways that we're just getting visibility and uh, you know attention to the event and if you log on to www.lbwinterclassic.com you'll see our not only our, our awesome beanies and hoodies and sweatshirts this year but there's a ton of raffle prizes and uh, jersey auctions that you'll be able to bid which you know again help help to fundraise I think one of the coolest things uh, that we've done with the raffle this year is guys like Jim Jackson, Bill Clement, uh, Steve Coates, Brian Boucher, and more and more are still uh, expected to filter in, are raffling off this 20 minute Zoom call. So you can log on, we'll put you in a, a virtual room together and you guys can talk about anything under the sun, cleanly. Uh, uh, about hockey, uh, about broadcasting, about them playing, whatever the case is. Uh, it's free reign for uh, 20 minutes. And uh, again, there's a lot of things that I think we should be doing anyway um, that COVID's kind of forced us to take a harder look at this year. And I think this is one of them. Um, we love our raffle and a lot of the supporters and a lot of the, the spectators that come that day it's one of the biggest draws of the event. So we're just transitioning all of that to a digital platform this year where you'll be able to log on and purchase one, two, three, five tickets and put them into different baskets. And you know, we're still really, really excited to be able to have it. So being digital, not being able to be physically present at the event, how can you help? You know, 
Uh, I think, you know, logging on and, you know, doing the raffle chances, this donate button, all that kind of stuff, it, it is really helpful. But even if you don't have the money to, to help donate, as, you know, we completely understand everybody's situation has been altered this year. Um, I think one of the best things you can do, honestly, is to just like or share our content. Log in, you know, the day of the game and watch these games because the more attention that we get to the event, the more traffic we generate to the event, not only is a better value for our sponsors, but it helps us attract sponsorships in the future. When we can show uh, the tremendous amount of traffic that we have to you know, our broadcasts and look at the eyes on our website and look at the eyes on our raffles. It helps us sell more sponsorships, which helps us, you know, generate a lot more fundraising for the team. So even if you think you're not helping, even if you can't donate, you know, log in, like us, share us, comment on us. Uh, you know, we're, we're just happy to have your eyes uh, on our stuff and, um, you know, have the attention to the, uh, to the cause that we're trying to fundraise for. And in this incredibly tumultuous year and all this chaos and all this bad that's going on, just it feels so good to do something good and put that positivity back in the world. So um, we're looking forward to seeing you online this year, um, but we really appreciate your support and uh, we're, we're really happy that uh, we're able to bring this tournament to you, um, at least in some capacity this year. Thank you so much and we're looking forward to seeing you on my next year.